What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dweezy. Welcome to another edition of Dweezy Delivers. I'm a long time viewers. Welcome back, my new viewers. Welcome to the channel. Okay, today is Monday, June 17th. And do you guys remember back in the old days of this channel when I first started? I actually did my intros in the dark in the morning time because I actually had to go to the office. So I will have to wake up, go to the gym, or charge my car because I still have my electric car, the Nissan Leaf, charge my car, do the intro while I'm charging the car, go to the gym. After I go to the gym, go to work in the office, and then after the office, then that, that's it. Or then I'll do something like that, and I had to do my intros. It was so crazy, guys. But we, I think, okay, we finally, we finally, 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 finally woke up at four in the morning to start at five. So it is 4.34 in the morning. I woke up at four and I was about to wake up at 4.30, but I, I actually stayed awake. I'm like, all right, good. So the, the app, the Uber app is lighting up. Like the whole city is lit up. Like it's supposed to be busy. There's maybe one or two spots of surges, but that's it. Lyft doesn't have any surge at all. So I'm gonna see what happens. Do some ride share and I'm gonna do Uber Eats as well. And then I'll turn on Instacart just to see if there's anything from five o'clock or when I'm done with this intro. It's 4.30 in the morning. When I'm done with this intro, I'm going to start and I can actually start at four in the morning because I woke up and then I looked at the map and it was lit up. So people were asking for rides at four in the morning. I'm hoping it's not bar rides. I'm hoping it's like going to work type of rides. But we're gonna see what happens. Five, five until 10 o'clock in the morning, 10 I'll stop unless it gets dead earlier. If it gets dead earlier, then I'll stop earlier and then I'll start heading to the gym. There's a class at the gym at 10.30 in the morning. After that, take a shower. After I take a shower and I start again at lunchtime from 12 o'clock, maybe until five. So I can do from five to 10 and then from 12 to five, that's 10 hours. Can I make $200 in those 10 hours? We'll see what happens. But with that being said, I'm so happy. I woke up, finally, I could finally see how right share is and then I can tell you guys my results. Now with that being said, let's not waste any more time on this intro. All right, let's go. Don't forget to smash that like button below up in the YouTube world. And if you like this video at the end and you don't watch video for this being doing the subscribe my people, let's get this better, let's go. All right guys, the time is 5.48 in the morning and we have not, or we got two, two rides. So we got a $9.38 ride, 7.5 miles, 17 minutes to complete. And then a $6 ride, 5.3 miles, nine minutes to complete. And that is it, I have not gotten anything else yet. There was a lift ride, $11 for like 26 or $27 an hour, but it was 0.83 miles, uh, no, 83 cents per mile. And I'm like, bro, I don't want to get anything under a dollar per mile, man. And the map is heating, so it supposedly is, is busy. I don't want to get anything under a dollar a mile. Let me know though, if you would take an order like that at this time at 5.48 in the morning, $11 like 27 dollars an hour but 83 cents a mile it's like come on that's too many cents it's to the airport oh i forgot to tell you that detail it was to the airport maybe the customer tips maybe the customer doesn't i have not gotten a tip from uh from the one airport customer going in the one airport customer coming out there was no tip on both of those so i can't rely on the tips i have to accept whatever right whatever offer it is at face value it can be considering tips tips is just an extra unfortunately for ride share uber eats yeah it's a two dollar you know these for uber eats two dollar pays you have to have the tip on there at least if uber eats wants to pay pay up then pay up the customer doesn't have to tip but for the most part it's two dollar offers that i don't want to you know i don't want to accept Okay, the time is 6.09 in the morning and we accepted a Dunkin' Donuts Uber Eats order. Dunkin' Donuts, six dollars, two and a half miles. Let's go get it. And then after this, or as it gets closer to seven o'clock in the morning, I'm gonna start camping out at a Publix. See if I can get like a Instacart order. But for now, we'll see what, you know, we'll see what happens. Hello. Let's pick up an Uber Eats, that's yeah. All right, my people, we got the we got the order. Let's go deliver. Let's do it. 1188. 1188. Thanks so much. Thank you, brother. Have a good one. Okay, the time is 6:30 in the morning, and we accepted finally another order. Oh my goodness, man. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. But we accepted an order. Eleven dollars, Instacart, for one item. That's it. And it's a two-mile drive. Let's get it, baby. Let's do it. It's uh for what is it? I'll tell you now. It's something for heartburn relief. Oh, I don't even have my wallet. Snap. I have to go get my wallet. 
Alright, so it has to be one of these things right here. OMG, we got it in five seconds. Let's go, baby. It has been one minute because I have to go to my car and get my wallet. But it was really took like five seconds. And we are done. Let's pay for this and deliver for 11 smackaroos. Alright, guys. The time is... What time is it? 8.28 in the morning. And we, we accepted a BJ's order. But first, let me tell you the orders that we did. We did two rides. We did a $9.08 ride. 7 miles, 18 minutes to complete. And then we did a lift ride. $5.39... 4.8 miles, no, 4.58 miles, 17 minutes to complete, and then we accepted a BJ's, $20 BJ's order for 13 items, like three mile drive, and then we, I just accepted a stack right now, it's not that good, but I'm like, bro, I mean, it's 600 bucks, there's an extra $6 stack on Instacart, so I haven't gotten a stack in a, a long time, usually, I mean, you have to be lucky to get a stack order on Instacart, but it's a $6 stack for an extra three items, an extra three miles too. And it's fine because it's taking me, I mean, to a place I don't mind going to anyway. So not that far away. Not that, it's not that bad, guys. So let's go. So it's pretty much $26 for 16 items, if you think about it like that. The first item is this thing right here. This is for customer A. Right here. The next item is this right here for customer A. These big diapers or this big pack, big box or package of diapers. Oh, the training pads right here. So we need these training pads for A as well. I need baby wipes. Oh, the wipes are here. So it should be here somewhere. Oh, they have the wipes here in the front. So right here, we need this the blue one, the blue baby wipes. All right, so we need this cane sugar for customer B, our first B item. But we need two of these Maxwell coffees for B. We need this thingy majiggy right here. Caldo con sabor de pollo, chicken thingy majiggy. Let's go. This is the last customer B item, this ultra strong paper towel here. We need a pure life water, which, yeah, yeah, there's one here, but where are the other ones? Let's go over there and get a better looking one, and that one's a little bit broken. Look right there in front of us. A case of pure life water for customer A. <coughs> the rest of the items are cold items, so we have seven more items to go. We need one of these country walk rock butters for customer a and customer a actually added an item which i don't mind if you could add an item that'll be better for the earnings all right here look 60 count right for eggs so one of these bad boys and you're just gonna have to you're just gonna have to hope that not, none of them is broken because you can't really i mean you could look at it but not really that much i'm gonna get the one on, i'm gonna get the one on top that's the safest the safest eggs right now and we need this right here the pink no not the pink the red the red milk right here for A. All right, my people, it's been 24 minutes and we are done. This is it right here. Customer A with the water. Customer A has the water and yeah, just the water and everything on top. Customer B, the new customers, the, the paper towels and then this and then that's it. So let's go pay for this and deliver. Let's do it. All right, the time is 9.30 and yeah, we completed that $26 one. Yes, so awesome is coming. All right, nobody ended up going to the elevator, but we are at, I just did the math. We are at $75 and it's 9.30. Oh my goodness. I don't have to work late now. If this if this strategy succeeds, it's only been one day obviously, but if this strategy succeeds, I don't have to work late anymore. I can work from five to 10 and from 12 to five. That's 10 hours still, but I feel good. I'm gonna go to the gym now, get some energy. And then after that, Work from 12 to 5, I'm, I don't think I'm going to be as tired as before. Because I started the day when it wasn't so sunny. That's another thing. It was busy and it was also not, it wasn't, I mean, it was, I thought it was going to be a lot more busy. But it's fine. And it, it's not hot. So I'm not like dying of heat one hour into the shift because it's so hot. I mean, the second shift is going to be 12 to 5, so that's going to be hot. But, um, but it's fine, guys. At least the first half of the shift is gonna, it's literally no sun. So, like, it's, like, more manageable. The heat and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, it's 9.30. I'm going to start uh, I'm gonna start driving to the gym. And then if I get an order, I'll do it. If not, I'll go to the gym. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We've made it to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. All right, this is how much we made for the day. I did not record the second part of the shift. 
But this is how much we made in total. On Instacart, we made $39.11. On Uber, we made $64.30. And on Lyft, we made $41.88 for a total of $145.29. These are the orders that we did on the second shift. I did not record it. Second shift off camera. This is what we did. On Uber, we accepted a $6.17 in uh uber eats order 1.9 miles 15 minutes to complete and that's after waiting a long time it was super super slow guys super slow 27 dollars 13 cent order 6.1 miles one hour and 11 minutes to complete and then on lyft we did a five dollars and 60 cent ride 3.18 miles 15 minutes to complete and then we did a 21 dollar inst uh lyft extra comfort ride 5.88 miles one hour and two minutes to complete it was two elderly people one of them was in a wheelchair and then i had to like sh and we had to take the wheelchair in my car thank goodness it fit like it was a big wheelchair but i was able to fit it somehow it took a long time to get the lady in the wheelchair in the car because she was very immobile like she couldn't move at all but it's like she was, it took her a long time to get into the car but i didn't help her get into the car she was able to do it herself because the other lady, uh, I don't know if it was the mom, she told me, or, you know, she she didn't tell me to help get her up, I guess. So, you know, she was doing it, and then it took a long... Oh, before that, it, I got stuck in a train. So I got stuck in a train, and it took me a long time to get to the customer. And then I got to the customer, customer added a stop. And I was like, ah, you know what? Whatever, man, it is what it is. Took her to the stop to get some prescriptions. And we got a prescription, and then the line took a long time. The person in front took forever, and then... All that happened ended up being twenty-one dollars. It was a. It ended up being from a seven-dollar ride to a fifteen-dollar ride. So we went up from seven dollars to fifteen dollars to fifteen, and it was so slow that I was like, you know what? I'm all right with the fifteen dollars. Fine, it, it is what it is. I'm all right with it because it was so dead, man. I'm telling you. But then the customer added a tip: twenty-one dollars. Thank you, passenger. I appreciate you. So $21, that actually helped me out, man. And then that's it, I didn't do any more Instacart orders and that is pretty much it. We made $145.29. It took, I mean, I think I was out for 10 hours. So it was from like five to nine and then from like 12.30 to 5.30. So it was 10 hours, $145 guys. So, I mean, on slow days, I probably, I pretty much make the same amount of money, 145 and like a 10 hour from like 12 to 10. I mean, I, I do make 170, 180. Sometimes I'll get to 200 some days in the same 10 hours. It just depends, guys. When some days, you know, super busy, some days it's not busy at all. And you're just out there waiting. And it is the summertime. As it gets deeper and deeper into the summer, it gets less and less busy, guys. So it's probably gonna be a lot of these days, a lot of these slow days. So whatever you guys gotta do, save up your money. Don't spend that much money or get a summer job if you, if you want to. I'm gonna continue doing my Uber deliveries or all my ride share, continue. I'm gonna see if I could do more videos every single day. Again, I've been doing every, you know, whenever I can, but I'm gonna try to go back to every day so that my YouTube income could go back to normal because I haven't been doing anyway. So then I can make up for the slowness, you know, the YouTube income can make up for the slowness. I still have the trays being sold. Uh, I'm gonna have to do some marketing I'm waiting to get another, my second shipment that I paid for is finally getting is finally arriving into the Amazon warehouses. So once I get enough in stock, then I'm gonna do the 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 you know the ads, the Amazon ads that they recommend. So I'm gonna do that so it could increase the sales and then hopefully that can that could also make up for the slowness. See what happens. And then I'm still waiting for the sign, the second shipment of the sign. I will let you guys know whenever I get my second batch of this delivery sign, be right back dropping off order, be right back picking up order. The five that I sold, it sold out quick, like in a few days, like even less. So I know that this is gonna be good, but um, they're taking a long time, guys. It's taking a while, I don't know what happened. But that is pretty much it, guys. Do I, oh, it is the next day. I did not do the four o'clock in the morning again. I did what, my body woke up like at three o'clock. But then I was I was sore from the workout yesterday. Like I'm still sore, and like I was my body was tired. I was like, you know what, bro? If I don't have to do this, it wasn't. If I was if I, if I would have made two hundred dollars, then yes, I would have done it. But I didn't even make two hundred. So I'm just gonna leave it like that, guys. And but I tried. I mean, I should try the whole week. How about this? How about I try every other day? See what happens. Cause I mean, one day sample is nothing. I have to try out different days and i know a lot of people do make a lot of money in the morning time but in south florida it's just i think it is it's it's busy 24 hours you got people hustling 24 hours of the day 
and I got another order, five dollar order. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. All right. Now with that being said, don't forget to smash that like button, help me the YouTube world, and if you like this video and you watch videos, please me doing the videos to help my people. Oh, let me show you this real quick. Look, it's from doing pull-ups. I got my skin ripped off. I know it's kind of nasty, but I just wanted to show you guys real quick. It's a little bit nasty, but I put some hand sanitizer and then I put some cream to fix it or to, you know, one of those those creams that help skin like this. All right, all right. Now with that being said, love yourself, believe yourself, it's your boy Juicy, let's go.